Hey there, welcome to Colin's Accent uh, today. Uh, I actually wanted to tell you about nine ways you can say, how are you? Okay, nine various ways you can say, how are you? Now, I've come to realize and I've watched many YouTube videos and many other tutors, you know, you know, talking about this particular topic. And you're going to hear many people say 50 ways to say, how are you? 100 ways to say, how are you? And that's great, okay? I mean, these numbers are great. But I want you to know something, that all these numbers uh, mean the same thing, okay? In fact, some of those ways aren't used in English at the moment, okay? But I've drafted up nine ways, nine very important ways you can say, how are you in English, okay? And these nine ways, I'm going to divide them in three parts. Okay, the first part is formal. Now, when I say formal, I know you're going to be thinking, Colin, do you mean uh, too serious and too rigid? No, I don't mean that, okay? When I say formal, I mean uh, you, you can use this uh, ways maybe when you're in the office, all right? You with people that you don't really know, you're just meeting for the very first time. You can use these ways to say how are you to them, Okay. That's what I mean by formal. So I don't mean to be so serious, all right? Because there are certain ways you can say, how are you to people? Uh, they may find that rude, okay? And that's number two. We call it the informal way. Now, the informal way or like more like colloquial way of saying, how are you? Is when you are around people you really know, your friends, your colleagues at work, I mean, friends and people you really know and you're familiar with, okay? You can use these ways, okay? The informal ways. And the last way is to say, how are you? Is when you really want to help someone. When you really want to prefer a solution to someone. I mean, when you really care about someone, you know, probably they are going through a challenge. Or maybe you haven't seen them for a very long time. And you just, you know, stumbled on them on a certain day, or a certain afternoon. And uh, so these are the three ways I'm going to be teaching you today, all right? Now, I'm going to start with the formal ways to say, how are you? The first way is, of course, how are you, <laughs> okay? Now, how are you? How are you? Now, the way you say this is very important. I mean, your intonation matters. I'm very, I'm, I'm very sure you can't go and say, how are you? How are you? <laughs> you know, you're going to sound different, right? You're going to sound different. But your intonation matters. So the first way is, how are you? Okay, that's very polite and very formal. The second way, uh, the second formal way to say, how are you to people is, how is it going? How is it going? Okay. How is it going? How is it going? All right. You can say that. Okay. The third way is, how are you doing? How are you doing? How are you doing? How are you doing? You know, your intonation matters. If you really want to sound more exciting, you can say, how are you doing? All right. Now, if you really want to sound more exciting, you can say, how are you doing? How are you doing? Okay. Um, the next is, for your friends, all right, people around you, your colleagues, your neighbors, your friend. Uh, number one is what's up. This is more like a slang. What's up? How you doing? What's up? Okay, it's been a long time. What's up? All right, what's up? <laughs> the next way is what's good. What's good? What's good? What's good? Uh, many Americans are gonna say watch good. Watch good. Watch good. You're going to hear people say uh, in some part of America, what's good? But in British English, it's going to be what's good or what good? What's good? All right. So the next is what's going on? What's going on? Okay. These are the three informal ways you can say, how are you? Maybe to your friends or your neighbors, your brothers, I mean, your siblings. Okay. You can use these ways to say, how are you to them? Now, the last one, like I said, is for solution. Maybe you want the person to reply to your question, okay? And you, you, you are really in need of an engagement. You want to really engage in the conversation with them. 
then you can use these three methods to say how are you to them, okay? The first one is how are things? How are things, okay? Um, don't be surprised if you hear some native speakers say, how is things? How is things, okay? You're going to hear many native speakers say, how is things? Or how are things, okay? That's the first way. The next way is, how have you been? How have you been? Now, do you know why I like this one? The reason why I like this particular one is because um, it's like you want to know what has happened in the past and in the present. You're saying, how have you been? So you're trying to know how it has been in the past and how it is in the present, okay? This shows that you really care about the person, okay? How have you been? How have you been? I mean, right from the last time we met until now, okay, presently. How have you been? Okay, how have you been? Now, the last one is, what have you been up to? What have you been up to? Now, you're not going to hear the hedge, okay, in that. Where have you? Where have you been? Where have you been? What have you been up to? What have you been up to? What have you been up to? Okay, now, these are the various ways you can say, how are you to someone, okay? So, but in this last one, what have you been up to? Please don't use it for someone you don't know. And please don't use it for someone that is older than you, all right? Because this is going to be quite um, disrespectful, all right? Because asking someone, what have you been up to, may sound really disrespectful, especially when they are older than you, all right? So you can use it for your friends and those closer to you. All right, your colleagues. So thank you for watching Collins Accent today. If you got value for this video, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also give me a thumbs up if you like it. I'm going to say goodbye. See you next time. Peace.